Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Tencent. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. So today uh, is a little bit different. It's, well, it's still a harvesting. We have to get this harvesting stuff down pat. <laughs> Actually, I want to talk about a couple of new things. Um, there has been an update to the patch, which is 0.7.1.2. <laughs> um, and I was reading the patch notes, and I guess if anybody was watching Saturday's live stream, how I lost my tech to the enemy because I was outside of it. I guess that is a glitch in the game and they fixed it or there was it was a bug. It was it wasn't I guess that's not supposed to happen. Anyways, it was interesting. It actually if they would have left it in it would kind of leave like a I don't know, kind of suspense every time you jumped out of your own tech. But anyways, um so we've collected some resources here. You can see them there are plenty <laughs> there's plenty of uh resources like wood there. We've also added some delivery cannons to the base here. Um, uh, sorry, the reason I've added the delivery cannons is because when you fill up one of these silos, the blocks will just go straight through and then we can sell them, right? So once you max out on something, you sell it off. <laughs> so it's great. Um, we pretty much can do anything now. Uh, we'll build an AI unit and boom, like instantly it's just gone, right? So. Uh, I almost, I really like this layout, like, literally we could do everything, like, have a Venture Corp on this side, Geocorp, ESO, you know, and then, you know, you just fill these up. You don't need the refined materials because it happens this way now. They've simplified this crafting to pretty good. Um, yes, you can see it in the background there. We have another harvester that I will show you. Um, this one was just not cutting it. I don't like it. <laughs> this one, the new harvester, it's it's a little weird. Um, I do think we're missing something. Yeah, see, there's the AI, the Hawkeye AI. Put that bad boy there. And away she goes. You know what I mean? So we'll jump over to it. It's not pretty, um, but it does its job. It's a flying harvester, so <laughs> so as you can see, um, I kind of it has four resource collect or what is it? Yeah, uh, the picker collectors. Okay, a um, bunch of five-way steerings there around the top on the top here, and then it only required four engines, um, and we have two batteries, two venture batteries with a. Excuse me, I got the hiccups <laughs> with the uh, with the repair bubble because the way this kind of works is um, how would you say? Here, let's go over here. I'll show you. So we fly around. Well, if we're, as soon as the sun comes out, we'll charge up and we'll go up. But we fly around. You go somewhere. Oh, this might be too close or too far away from the ground. Actually, I wanted to change that anyways. You fly around anyways. Um, you get what you need, or you find a uh, block that you want, and then you just drive over top of it, and, uh, you know, harvest it. But it actually, as weird as it might seem, come on, that one has to be close enough to the ground, no? Wow. Okay. Oh. So anyways, <laughs> because of our wheel, we got some there. Um, I guess we could always put uh, drills on the wheels, but like, you know what I mean, like, kind of like this. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can make it your own way. I just want to get a little bit of a charge in us. I guess we should have... Oh, there's not even a resource collector. I mean, uh... Not a resource collector, uh... The chargers, the wireless chargers, it. Eh? Where'd it go? Come here. There we go. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird the way this works. But the thing is, is you know, you make a normal harvester and you're just you're out there. You know, you're driving around from here to there, blah, 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 right? With this, at least you can be like, you know what? I want that resource. Or, you know, um, you're looking for just a specific one. It's so much easier now. 
Um, see, watch. We'll just come down. If we can hit this one. If it's tall enough. But I guess that's the only limitations, right? Is height. Now here's another thing that I kind of found weird. Um, first of all, uh, resources don't seem to affect the weight of your attack, which is a great. Secondly, the uh, you know when you're moving with uh, your tech, if you move too fast, you drop the you drop the resources. Not the case when you're flying. <laughs> you, they do not seem to. Uh, Disappear. Okay, so we have two drills on the front just for stuff like this. And another thing is, is that you don't really have to worry about uh, carrying firepower when you're hiding in the air, right? Uh, yeah, bots are around and stuff like that, but now that they can't really get to you. They, uh, <laughs> you can, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. Like, um, we'll collect some more. I'll, we'll try and get a full, um, full resource pads here. Just so you guys can see that it, no matter how much you put on here, like the weight isn't affected, uh, which is, <sighs> you know, there's stuff that we're learning now that I wish I would have, we would have tried or done or... I'm messing around going side to side here. I'm trying to get it to turn, but it needs to be going forwards first. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have known earlier. Um, oh, that's another thing. Um, if you're watching this, we are... After this airs, which will be Wednesday, um, December 14th, uh, I will be live streaming, because I will be restarting our world. So... Just because I want to uh, unglitch the what is it um, crafty crafty business quest and uh, oh or crafty Mike whatever you want to call it whatever his name is <laughs> and uh, I've heard mixed uh, remarks about how the game start I guess there's a new they've changed some way some things that uh, for the beginning when it starts so I want to try that out. And I, I want to see how fast we can get back. So, like, back to uh, all the blocks we have, all the power, you know, the grade. You know, maxing out the grades here. So, I don't even think we've maxed out Geocorpia, or GSO. So, okay, that uh, that one doesn't want to give us give it up. You see what I mean? Like, we haven't been harassed by a bot yet, or um, anything like that. We do need certain... You need to have a certain approach. That's why we have it so high off the ground. So I was like, okay, well, we'll just straddle the rocks and uh, destroy them. Kind of like that. Um, there's a, a million different ways you could build this. Uh, but I do like it. It's probably going to be one of my major things from now on. Um, I don't... If I don't have to worry about... Um, bots or other techs then it's definitely not it's definitely <laughs> worth my while not to do it you know what I mean um, especially when we're trying to collect resources that's like the most annoying part because you always lose space to uh, weapons and you know shield bubbles and stuff like that and then you end up being this massively heavy tech for good reason but uh at the same time, not... Oh, maybe it... Okay, so when I did this with wood, it did not affect the... The weight of our tech? Or maybe... We're still taking off, but... Uh, it doesn't look like we're off balance. Either way. Like, uh, look at all these... I wouldn't say rare, but I think they're, they're more uncommons, right? So 
uh, the ability to fly to the uncommon ones or find them because he's driving along the ground here like yeah okay we can see what's here we got some green here we got some uh, or some green ore over here we got some something off in the distance there you know who knows what else we got uh, what's over this ridge here is there some you know plumbite or something else there right uh, but the ability to take off into the air Actually, we're just going to keep going here, but... See, the, that's the only thing that's kind of weird, is that these pads, um... They have a big pull range, like, see? But they still don't seem to pull like they're supposed to. Um, and we're stuck in the tree. <laughs> okay, let's go over to... Just over here, because it'd be nice to... I think we're almost full up anyways, so... We can get completely filled with uh with ore then I think we're it'll be the best test yet even then like maybe we you know you just got to go a little heavier than okay well since those don't want to pop up that quickly let's see do one of these resource collector pads feed the no they won't feed it huh Interesting. I'll just get rid of that. So maybe these need to be a little bit lower, or they need to be turned on their side. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can take off. We're off the ground. Not by much. So okay. So these ones do did affect. Uh. The weight did affect it. Okay. Well, the wood, sorry, I guess I lied to you guys. <laughs> the wood, when I did it, didn't affect the. Didn't affect how. Uh, the weight of us that much, but still. Um, <laughs> we're trying to go forwards, and for some reason it's just rocking us like a. Like a baby in a basket. <laughs> uh, but still, um, we're still climbing, we're making altitude. We're getting away from the enemy. We can see what's out here. Uh, like worst case scenario, uh, what would it be? Probably one more engine. So if I took this one, dropped it to that side and put in that second one there, we have more than enough power to lift a full, uh, full bot. And maybe that's why it stopped collecting too. It was because we we reached our maximum weight. Now it's in. We are kind of traveling slow, but uh, it's one of those things, right? I would prefer the safety of the air than being on the ground right now. So, and actually, well, yeah, you can just see, like, look at the your advantage, uh, the advantage you have in the air versus being on the ground. Um, kind of interesting how it's like tilted back though. <laughs> it's like all the weights in the back here, but it's actually, it looks like the two front receivers are full. So, we are moving still though. I can see the base, it's right there. <laughs> so, um, Maybe we should just do that since we're so close. Let's touch down. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like, doesn't. Oops. We're not losing speed, or we're not. Sorry, not we're losing speed. We're not losing um. Or as we drop out of the sky there. Okay, so wants to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, where'd that go? This is my biggest. Okay, so we got that, like that. Pull that off. Okay, so um, this should be like. Just to even it out, I think. Oh no, we need one down here. 
Yeah, I think that evens it out. Um, all goes to plan. This should take off no problem now. Um, here, I'm just gonna... Yeah, see? So, we're fully load for full-ish load. Um, all we needed was an extra leg. Now, let's see. Let's see if the game was actually outsmarting us here. Oops. I just want to grab some more ore here. Because it wasn't collecting, you know, fully beforehand. Uh, okay. Maybe there was no ore in that one. Some of these are hard to spot, especially the... What is it, the plumbite ore ones? <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing there, come on. <laughs> Okay, we know that the second one there definitely has something in it, so. Yeah, see, it's just grabbing it now. So the game was actually kind of outsmarting us. Okay, grab two of them. It's not grabbing any more. Let's see, is it the same? No, it's not the same. We can still take off fairly easy here. So maybe we just maxed out. But... Like now, imagine you made a flyer just a little bit faster, or you know you were in a spot where you didn't, um, you didn't have some of these resources. Like, let's say you're in the desert, or you're you built on top of one of those monuments, right? Usually, those monument monuments aren't close to anything good. So, um, and as you can see, we're going up and down and forward, but uh, we're not losing any resources. So. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I need a little forward momentum, so a couple more. Um, a couple more five-way stirrings, and we'd probably be laughing. So we'll just unload really quickly, and then we'll take it for another flight to see how quickly, or how different it acts uh, versus when we're not when we don't have anything. There we go. Should be able to get it all. <laughs> it's done that over and over. Look at the payload terminal here. The anchor's down, but it's gone to the side. <laughs> so honestly, like... Something like this would be nice if you could, like I know, like I talked about it a while ago, um, instead of, because you can take a snapshot of the base and then you can go up to the mountains and then you can call it in, but you have to pay for it, right? But if you could just build a blueprint and then call it in and then the blueprint's done, right? That would be awesome if, if you used your own blocks. Okay, I think we're empty. Okay. Let's see how the difference takes off a little faster. It moves a little. Okay, so there was. Okay, so I'm sorry I was misleading at the very beginning. Um, obviously, wood is not a very good test. It's not heavy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you're just gonna have to experiment with it. But see, like the this blue ore down here. The what is this plumbinian or something like that? Like, this stuff is fairly rare, that you need it for a lot of your techs or stuff. And if we can get in here quick enough... You know, normally if you had your harvester, you'd be like, okay, well, I have to deal with these guys now, right? But if they start to come towards us, we're going to be out. If I can ever get this other one that's on the ground here. No, doesn't look like it wants to be harvested. Because they lured me in before with that. Their lies. <laughs> and away we go. And we can take off just as fast backwards as we can forward. 
All we need to do is gain some altitude. There we go. Yeah, so... I think this is going to be my... As you can see, actually, we're picking up a lot of speed, right? You can see the tail wing, or the, the wind from the wings. That means we're going... Eh, let's say... Actually, you know what? As we're here, go with the speedometer. Where is the speedometer? And manufacturing. I think it's under the dice. Isn't it? Altimeter. Speedometer. So we're going 50, or just under 50. So let's see. I'm just trying to set us down. We'll see if when we hit the ground, or when we get down to the ground. Sorry if it's uh, back up a little bit. We got a lot of altitude there, you guys. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Can we stop ourselves? Nice. We can free fall and grab. Okay, so our flight speed was 48 miles per hour and we weren't losing anything. I don't know what our fall speed is, but... These, uh, uh... The Hawkeye bike wheel should get us to 48, no problem. Okay, so we're still not losing anything. Or we're, you know, we're going... Either way, maybe they fixed it and we don't lose resources anymore. But uh, I still enjoy the flying, the harvesting with the flyer, than uh, being on the ground. Even if I have to, like obviously if we wanted to make it bigger and collect more resources, we just double up what we have here, you know, for size. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.